are you really sure you need some ideas for Halloween? Well, <laughs> I'll show you how I got these witches and zombies fingers. Full list of ingredients and quantities are listed below in the description box. First, beat the sugar and margarine together until smooth and creamy. Then add the two egg yolks and the almond extract and beat it again. Pour half of the flour and half of the cornstarch and beat it slowly. Pour the other half of these two ingredients and beat it slowly again until it's all well mixed. Now knead the dough a little and make a ball with it. Wrap it in cling film and put it in the fridge for 15 minutes. Meanwhile start making a syrup for the blood. You do that by cooking 5 tablespoons water with 75 grams sugar in a saucepan until the sugar crystals are melted. Let it cool down and add 1 teaspoon of strawberry or raspberry syrup. Take a small portion of that syrup and add in some red food color. And mix it well. Now get the dough from the fridge and divide it into parts. With the first part make some small balls. I have weighted them so they end up all the same size. Roll those balls into thin logs and with two fingers press on the sides to form their bones. With a knife mark some finger folds. Press a peeled almond at the end of each log. If you don't have peeled almonds you can also cut the skinned almonds in the middle and use the inner side of the almond facing up like I'm doing. With the other half of the dough we will make the zombie fingers now. Add some green gel food color to the dough and knead it until the color is well incorporated. If the dough gets too soft put it in the fridge for a little while again. Do the same as you did with the witch fingers, but instead of pressing with your fingers on the sides, press on the top of the locks. And instead of peeled almonds, you will use skinned almonds now. Now bake all fingers for 10 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius. When they are done, take them out of the oven, take the almonds off, put some drops of your red syrup and place the almonds back to their spaces. If necessary, drip some red syrup drops on top of the almonds as well. You can also add some Oreo crumbs or coffee powder to decorate them. I hope you like it and if so, press thumbs up to my video, subscribe my channel and leave me a comment or a question. I will be happy to get your feedback or to answer you. Have a scary Halloween and see you next week!